Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this week episode we're going to discuss a little bit about the fiberglass, few variants and type of fiberglass, what benefits and what characteristics each one have and how, how strong actually the fiberglass is. What we have here you, you can see four or five um, samples of fiberglass. Basically the line over here it's the same with the line over here. The only difference is the resin that was laminated with. You'll see a slightly a color difference and this is because this row was laminated fully with vinyliester resin and the other row, the one from the back, that was laminated with normal polyester resin. Well, which is the difference between these two resin that uh, if you are interested we can discuss in a further more video maybe in the next one and I would like to show you a little bit how each component it performs because what, I, what I've made here is the fact that all this material have around for example the fiberglass have around 800 grams per square meter so there should be no difference in density but it's a huge difference in, in the uh, fiberglass material and how this fiberglass is aligned. So here we have triaxial mat, here we have chopped straight mat, here we have core mat and one layer of chopped straight mat. Here we have one layer of oven roving and one layer of chopped straight mat and here we have two layers of oven roving. On the back side as well, two layers of oven roving, one layer of oven roving and one of chopped straight mat, one layer of core mat, one layer of fiber of uh, chopped straight mat, two layer of chopped straight mat and one uh, layer of triaxial mat because this one layer have 800 grams, here I have around 200, uh, 450 so it's around 900, here I have 450 and the core mat, then I have 450 with 450, then I have two of 450. So basically I have the same density for all these materials. And the thing that I want to do is to put this sample, for example, of fiberglass between two uh, blocks. And I will try to add weight here and see how much this will bend. I proceed by doing my testing stand and uh, I just add two blocks here. Each block have around one kilo. This is not so important for those two blocks because I'm not going to use it to test it, but uh, it will be only the support. But one block, I try to cut it from a stone, something to have around one kilo. Some of them have 900 grams, some of them have one kilo and one, 100 grams, but uh, even so, I think it's not important and to make this test more visible I also print a color scale don't worry about the numbers it doesn't signify something important in our test but it's much easier to visualize how much the fiberglass it will bend and we're gonna start with first sample which is oven roving laminated with one yester resin and we have two layers of this. I will put it here close to the scale and now I will just add weight to see how much this it will bend. So this is with around one kilo and it's only one color down and trying to add one kilo more and we have almost dark blue. I will proceed the same test with the same blocks but now I will use oven roving fiberglass with laminated with normal polyester resin.
I add one kilo and then the second one. So it passed the dark blue and here it's almost green. That means that the same material as fiberglass doesn't mean that are the same strong as the same material with fiberglass but laminated with different resin, which in our case the vinyl ester resin adds us much more uh, stiffness than we think. I will remove this and I will proceed the same test with the next sample, which is a combi mat. It's one layer of choppy straight mat and one way, a layer of oven roving. And I will add the first weight. So only one color have been down. And then I will add a second kilo to this sample. And we passed purple. We are almost to blue. So only one color and three quarter of the other one. Then I will proceed the same test with the same fiberglass, but laminated with polyester resin instead of viniester resin. I will add the first block and then the second one. So now it's clearly that it goes to the purple color and it reach the blue one which that means that the vinyl ester resin combining with the same properties of the fiberglass give us better uh, stiffness and more resistance to the material. Now I will proceed with the next sample. Which will be the core mat. I discussed about all these types of fiberglass in another video. And uh, the core mat doesn't give you any structural properties, but it give you, I mean, doesn't give you strength, but it's giving you a lot of stiffness and wall thickness. So we have one layer of core mat and one layer of chopped straight mat because the core mat, it has to be close every time with chopped straight mat. And all this, it's laminated with vinyl resin. I'll put it here, that it's a little bit bended up, so the test might not be very concludent, but even so, I'll try to proceed it. So this is the first weight, and that's the second weight. So we can see that we reach almost white blue, and uh, the sample is continuing a little bit to bend it more. So it loses from here stiffness. And I think in few moments it will drop down. I'm not sure if this will happen. Yes, it's going slowly, slowly, slowly. And it's very interesting. I will take this off and I will repeat the same test but now, the same sample laminated with choppy straight mat and coring mat, but with normal polyester resin. As well, the sample is a little bit bended up. I add the first sample and then the second weight. And in this case, Surprisingly, we have better results than the one that it was laminated with vinyl resin, which is, uh, let's say, a little bit tricky because until now, everything we laminate with vinyl resin have better properties than polyester resin.
I will go further more with no more chop it straight mat. Laminate it with vinyl ester resin. I add the first weight and goes only one half of the color. And then I put the second one. So it, it goes purple to pink, a little bit of pink, which is very good from my point of view. And now let's proceed to the same test with the same fiberglass, but laminated with polyester resin. So in this case, the result is quite similar. Maybe it's better with vinylester resin. But even so, we have good properties with chopped strain mat and, and polyester resin. So until now, I will see that chopped strain mat, it fits better between these two resins. And the last material in our case, it's the triaxial mat, which is a little bit bended over. I don't know why that, that was happening. It's maybe from the storage. And this one is laminated with polyester resin. So I'll proceed the test. This is cut it a little bit less. So I will add only one kilo. Until now we have the lowest result from all the materials and trying to add a second kilo to this sample, it was a fail. I will try to bring the blocks more closer. And maybe now we can have better results. This is a little bit of cheating, but I will add the second block. And even so, if I reduce the distance, we have the lowest result until now. And I will proceed to the last sample. Which is a triaxial mat, which is a stitched roving. You can see the stitches here. And also, I will add two kilos of weight. So, as I can see, this is the lowest result I reach to triaxial mat and basically the triaxial the stitchy triaxial mat is more expensive than all the other materials presented until now and as well the vinyester resin is the more expensive one from all the resin that i presented until now which from my point of view should be the more the more resistant but in our case i can say it it, it doesn't but i can say that this gives more elasticity, so it's more elastic and less stiffness. This is also a property, a good property, because in this case, the fiberglass can bend it more.
this is everything for today guys i hope you like it and enjoy it if you like it don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel this has helped me a lot to continue with this work and if you want to see other quite interesting testing video about fiberglass and how to choose the correct fiberglass for your project please write me in the comment section below or if you have an idea of how I will, I will need to test this fiberglass, don't hesitate to write me. I will do it for you without any kind of problem. So thank you very much and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.